Hello viewers, today I'm going to show you how to fix a car, temporarily that is, with a hammer. That white Pontiac Grand Am you see sitting out there in the street has a, uh, a bad fuel pump. But now the question is, how do I get it in here into my garage so I can raise it up and drop the tank? I'll show you how to take care of that here with a hammer if you've got one. And quite frankly, who doesn't have a hammer? Everybody needs a hammer. So the situation we've got with this car is a crank no start condition. As you see, I'll try to start the vehicle. I don't want to drain the battery, but what's going on here is we've got a crank no start concern due to no fuel pressure. I'll show you how you can check for fuel pressure on this vehicle right quick. Well, on the top of the engine, right behind the power steering fluid reservoir, there's what looks like a little valve stem cap. You just take this cap off, turn the key on, and use a little pliers or a screwdriver to push the little valve stem core in and see if any fuel comes out. If no fuel comes out or if it just barely drips out, you've most likely got a bad fuel pump. Now you can check your fuses and relays and that's all great. There's nothing wrong with that. But here's a really quick way to tell if you've got a bad fuel pump. Take your hammer and strike the fuel tank in the middle. Then try to start the vehicle again. So how is it that you can strike the bottom of the fuel tank and somehow get your fuel pump to start working again? I'll go through a few things here to help you understand how this uh, works and why this happens. This is a fuel pump assembly. You've got the, the pickup sock here, you have the fuel level float, and you have the lines that go to the filter and the return as well. What happens is when you strike the bottom of the fuel tank, you are actually shocking this motor inside the fuel pump assembly here. Typically what happens when a fuel pump goes out is the bearings seize up. The fuel pump itself locks up, the motor locks up, and it can't pump fuel anymore. This is a spring-loaded fuel pump assembly. As you can see, this is spring-loaded. So what this does is as you push this into the fuel tank, you're spring-loading the bottom of this pump assembly against the bottom of the fuel tank. That's to make sure that you can pick up every last bit of fuel possible. So what happens is when you strike the bottom of the fuel tank, with the hammer, what you're actually doing is striking the bottom of this fuel pump assembly. So you're smacking the fuel pump assembly what, like that, and what that does is that can temporarily free up the bearings in the fuel pump motor inside this assembly. That's why when you turn the key back on, you get fuel pressure again, and then it starts. Now, I don't want you to go driving across the country thinking that you've fixed your problem now. Your problem still exists. You might get a few minutes, you might get a few seconds of runtime out of this fuel pump. But in my case, it worked just fine to get the car back in the garage. I was able to get it lifted up, drop the tank out, and it was easy. Everything worked out just fine. That's how this works. And when you go to replace a fuel pump on your car, don't get a cheap one. I know it's tempting to get a cheaper one with the cheaper prices and saving a little money there, but you better get a good fuel pump if you're going to go to all the effort to do this job. Because if you get a crappy cheap one like this one here that somebody put on this car, obviously about two years ago or so, it is going to fail. So spend a little bit more money, get a good brand such as an AC Delco for GM vehicles or a Bosch brand or Motorcraft or whatever it is and save yourself the headache and the money of having to do this job twice. And now you know how to fix your car with a hammer. 